Nidge, how to kill Magneto. We're going to find out, apparently. We think plastic Nerf guns is the trick. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the Sinek Death Battle right there. That game was awesome. A Saturday morning cartoon. That's right. Robo's the hottest ever. Oh, Juggernaut. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> nice Saturday morning there. 8 bit. Right. Oh. The wheelchair anthem. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, the robe's my favorite. She's like the Mega Man, dude, or Superman, you know. I just want super speed. Oh god, what That's right. What? What? <laughs> Marine shit. He was cool too. But he's mad on that all. Well, actually, never mind. I think he gets rich out of him by making it. Is there like plastic bolts, player? I'd still take Rogue because she could take anyone's power. Trace. Right. She can never. Superman have gets wrecked by a fucking Astro Boy. You want to talk about that? <laughs> See that shit? Like, talk to the head. See? Talk to the head. <laughs> that was tight. Just a couple metal balls with you. <laughs> what is this? Who would have ever guessed? Yep. Oh, I was right, wasn't I? Wasn't that even? The ones that go on your refrigerator, that's what they are? Yeah. That's from the old magnets that you would see with it. Magneto lifting the last stand of the base power of 
they just want to have a bigger field. The ballistic field, the guy maybe goes down from the next and first lap, gets a big field. There are a few people here who went to date that used to have constructed from a base of steel. Even Wolverine throughout the X-Men films, we see Magneto constantly bending and manipulating Wolverine's claw. He's not made of steel, though. Like the blood is filled mm-hmm. with the Animantium. And yet, we get the movie going on, and they're always like, oh, snap, he's Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine. As though we didn't just see it in, like, the last three movies. <laughs> and he gets <laughs> skeleton in the battle. All right, by the new Hickman style. Anyways, for a Marvel horror movie skeleton, along with the new vampire made of adamantium, which will play the original battle to the very death of artificial spider-based alloy in the movie we stand in. Even fake metal has Iron Man metal. So George gets mm-hmm. the Magneto as a perfect magnet. This would explain why in X2, X2 United, when Magneto melts the plastic cell, he shredded the Cthulhu's power. In order to escape the cell, he would have to inject a prison guard with none other than iron. With a prison guard with extra iron running through him, Magneto is able to lift his hands and drag the iron from his body, much the same way mm-hmm. from when Magneto was fully retrofitted to the prison. Oh, now, shit, it's like the blue screen. Come here, space. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got a little mustache. True. Oh, Jesus, a neutron star? Best astronomic metal existence of man, dude. So, can he just, like, move the Earth if he wants? Well, literally? Yeah. He stopped getting shot, didn't he? If you watch the Secret Invasion finale, you'll notice that throughout the X-Men films, Magneto shows very little success in stopping bullets. In the famously awesome Quicksilver and Simon the Bottle sequence, Magneto has complete control over all of Hickman's chemicals and it's up to Quicksilver to let the bullet and take care of his subtle flight. And then at the end of Days of Future Past, we see Magneto in the neck. The movie makes it seem like this is because Magneto is distracted by the Sentinels, but it's true. It's because his magnetic power is holding him. Now, I can mm. totally see you being skeptical about this. But what about mm-hmm. that awesome scene from the first X-Men movie where Magneto is surrounded by the police officers? Oh, shit. Okay, he stops the bullet right there. Yeah, you're right. He does stop a bullet in that scene. But let's take it apart, shall we? Magneto starts the scene by turning into the officers gun together. And then, all well under the purview of his powers, his own guns are made from aluminum and steel. So, no big surprise. It's a really cool, really big end to the scene. Uh-huh. Bullets, how does this work? Well, they first get told them to say that this bullet must be what's known as a full metal jacket bullet. And no, I'm not talking about a transmuting anime bullet or <laughs> just nah. a plastic bullet, but a lead bullet jacket of steel that allows for better blunt to shoot it. This is the case of the pieces of Magneto to control, except that we get a good look at that bullet sitting in midair, and it doesn't have the long horn air. Yeah, it's not full metal. That's right. Hollow point. It's just awesome. Look at that thing. It's great to be American. Oh. You go down to Walmart right now and buy some hollow points. Using iron in his body. Mm-hmm. Just 
cheap graphic. And they can see it. That was pretty damn good there. I like his Walking Death one. That was really good. I mean, they make... That was something I've always been saying, but then he nailed it, obviously, and capitalized on it. I should have made a video about that a long time ago. Because, well, it clearly showed you in the first few seasons of Walking Dead, but that's another story. I'll stay on track. Um... You don't think you think you, you, you're gonna call him bump? Well, that submarine he lifted. You tell me that submarine is solid steel, or it has enough steel in it? No, but it has some in it. Isn't that how it works? It has to have some in it to be able to be manipulated. Right. Yeah, as long as it contains some type of I metal think, that he can control with his. I think he can control any metal. I think his power would be weak. That's true. Um, they never yeah. really said what metals he could and couldn't, but he clearly got shot in that one. But then again, it's just a movie. Yeah, I mean, he got shot, but did he get shot because he wasn't paying attention? I mean, it's not like he knows everything that's going on around him at all points in time, right? right? Yeah. He's just like, a, in that sense, you're just like a normal person. Somebody comes up and jumps you from behind. Yeah, he don't got hyper reflexes like that. Right, really. he's not super speed and shit. Yeah. I mean... I don't know if he would have the ability to have a permanent field around him that would push any metal away while talking to people. If he could do that. Yeah. It's not like he's ever done that. But. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Magneto has obviously always been a powerhouse. That's why. I mean, he is the leader of freaking... I do agree. I mean, I do agree that. I would think more a plastic gun with some type of plastic composite bullet. Yeah, like as a TMP. <laughs> right, but not with any metal in it, like an actual, like, something made it out of straight plastic. Yeah, I think the firing mechanism might be still metal in there, I don't remember. But those things, I was told that most I'm sure you could make. Them. I'm sure you can make an entire job of plastic. Yeah. With the 3D printers nowadays? Right. You can YouTube a video of it, I'm dead serious. There's a 3D printer this guy made, like a plastic. But even then, what does gunpowder have in it? What does that consist of? I don't know, I guess. Does that have any metal fragments in it? Like, from what I was told, isn't it some type of explosive? Kind of like right, but TNT or whatever, like that powder shit? I don't think that's metal. I don't think that's metal. I could be wrong, but like I said, I'm not a fucking let's expert see. on it. Let's, let's take a look. All right. For all you people out there, we'll, we're going to identify this for him. Because if he can control gunpowder, then he can control anything. Theoretically. We're going to throw yeah. some wood spears at his ass and shit. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he dies to like some rab or anal guy like fucking ripping a spear. I'm like, hey yo, who that guy? Fucking Middle comes out of the bushes and League right. of Legends like, oh. <laughs> fuck. 
And fiddle sticks over him, though. Right. Everyone mm-hmm. walks like he's got a dick up there. <laughs> like a scarecrow. That guy was awesome. He's all like, <laughs> fiddle sticks. Was that his name? Yeah, fiddle sticks. Oh my god. Fiddle dicks. Yeah. Fucking forever. Gunpowder known as black powder is the earliest chemical explosives mixture of sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate. Sulfur and charcoal act as fuel, and the salt pepper is an oxidizer. I don't think any of that's metal. It's a casing, though. Know, that's metal, it sounds like. Mixture of sand mm-hmm. hmm. So, again, mm-hmm. I would say it'd have to be something plastic. It'd be the only way to essentially kill me. Yeah. Plastic would be the way to go, and plastic's crazy these days. Like just like like create like these fucking walls of plastic that are like with spears on them and they're like fucking like just huge and just box them in with it. Just fucking crush them. At least need plastic man. Yeah. Fuck Iron Man. <laughs> He's a millionaire. Just build a plastic suit. Yeah, plastic man. <laughs> like I'll create this suit to go plastic. Yeah. Only problem is is that fucking he says power, like, that power source he has has got metal in it. Oh it does? Yeah, that fucking. That's right. That's made up. Ah, uh, I was gonna say he like he wear have a green suit because he's like go green and shit. <laughs> he'd be like plastic pants with Iron Man. Right. He'd be like the like his hippie uniform. Right. You know when he's feeling like he's gotta like say it around, go green and shit. So anyways, whatever. Plastic Man gonna take you down. That's right. We're gonna call their own superhero. It's gonna be Plastic Man, <laughs> and he's gonna be go the fastest. The most powerful Superman ever known. Because apparently if you create somebody, they got to have like the biggest fucking donkey dick in the world. Like, That's right. This guy can fucking run the earth in fucking point zero 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 one seconds. That's right. The, the, the new guy, the one punch man. Right. He's like the new Goku Superman. They got this whole triangle now battle going on between those three. Oh, God. And my argument right there is like, I have the best superhero, period. Just call him the one up man. Or a woman, whatever you want to call it. So you know what a superpower is or her? Is he looks at you and then he has your power. No, no, not even that. It is his ability is, is no matter who ever in existence, period, of the whole entire galactic universe, whatever, you're always stronger than them, whether they're alive or dead. So even if the great two-ton common was Donkey Dick or, you know, the strongest person, you, you're stronger than him. Right. But if Superman shows up right and surpasses him, I'm still stronger than him. I have all his problems. Let's call him the one up man. <laughs> one up man. That's it, the one up man. Or something. He's got a big one on his head and shit. <laughs> <laughs> or is a green mushroom cap. <laughs> or 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 some type of person that has the ability to reflect. And I mean like uh like he can breathe in space, you gotta say that right away, because some people are like, oh he's a joke the planet. But like, yeah, well, you know. If anybody hits him with anything, it automatically reflects to somebody like a thousand or a million times full. Right. Period. Yeah. Yeah, just reflect. That's like, he just has someone color reflect. Period. It doesn't matter if it's magical, physical, whatever. So if Superman even punches him, it would come back to Superman a million times stronger. Sure. So they blow, like, obviously, what could hurt Superman? Superman himself, right? Or Kryptonian. So that's a lot of, a lot of the hardcore DC fans would say. Because Superman obviously can't be hurt by Goku or people because he's just that superior. Fine. Well, Superman could kill himself if he punched himself hard enough. Right. That's, anybody could agree to that. There's no one that could argue it. So therefore, if you were had just reflective ability, you would just taunt him to punch you, and he would punch you, and then it'd come back to him like, like I said, a million or gazillion times better. Period. Like basically, if anybody punched you, they would die instantly. Mm-hmm. What do you call like, it? Disintegrate. <laughs> you know, it's like there's no, there's another superhero right there. Like he just snaps his fingers and he disintegrates. That's right. Yeah, that, that was magic. There you go. But Superman fast though. Superman was like, <laughs> if he knew, he would just. Fly up to you right away and boom, check off you're dead. I gotta do the wing. So you gotta be disintegrated man with reflective ability. That's right. There you go. You disintegrated one up man. Disintegrated one up reflective man. There you go. The sip up man. <laughs> you just sip your man. Oh shit. Alright, All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, check out other videos. We'll see you soon. Man.